We have another treat for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Bob Lamond. I'm the Borough Arts Coordinator for Brooklyn North. And I also uh, serve on uh, the Tin Pen Alley American Popular Music Project. And I'm privileged to serve with my friend Milani Edwards, who is the granddaughter of James uh, J. Rosman Johnson and the niece of James Weldon Johnson, who wrote the next piece that you're going to hear. And Milani, it's so nice to have you with us. I'm sure you've heard this song a million times, but you're in for a treat. This chorus is just wonderful under Keisha McWhite. Could you tell us a little bit about you know, your family's legacy and, and where you see Lift Every Voice and Sing living in within the body of work that Jay Rosman wrote? Um, well, <laughs> I... My grandfather died two years before I was born, so. <laughs> um, and I was born in 1956, so you do the math. <laughs> um, I didn't know him, but to know that people still find his music meaningful is very humbling, in, in a sense, to go someplace and have people stand or go, oh, you're Jasmine's granddaughter. It's, um, it's more than a notion. <laughs> I associate myself more with my mother's school so being here tonight has been kind of overwhelming because, believe me, I've been through a lot of <laughs> dance recitals and uh, little performances. We had children two and a half years old through the sixth grade. So this, this evening is overwhelming. I was sitting beside Milani and I said, I bet you're thinking about your mom tonight in her school. Very much, very much. So that's, it's sort of a dual legacy, the fact that um, people can still read um, James Weldon's poems or his essays and find meaning in them and play my grandfather's music. I mean, young people to take, lift every voice and sing and do something with it, I find it's interesting. And to think that, you know, the children that my mother touched through her school is, um, it's, it's something for me to think about. <laughs> I try not to think about it too often. If you don't know the Johnson brothers other music, check it out. You just have to Google it. It's, it's out there. Uh, J. Rosman Johnson wrote many Broadway shows as well. I mean, he was a trailblazer in so many ways. Uh, and you know, certainly on the Tin Pen Alley American Popular Music Project, we're really celebrating his work. Um, Milani, you also have a foundation that celebrates him as well. I do. Um, we're not too active just yet, but um, there is a J. Rosman Johnson Foundation, and I look forward to doing a lot with music and history and young people. So check that out as well, folks. Um, thank you, Milani, for being here. It's just such a pleasure to have you. I'm happy to be here. I am. We have a little something for you. From the, the Brooklyn High School of Music and Theater, Let's bring them on now. Thank you so much, Milani. Hello, my name is Keisha McWhite, and I'm the choral music teacher for the Brooklyn School for Music and Theater. Our advanced chorus will be singing Lift Every Voice and Sing. This hymn, recognized as the Black National Anthem, was written by the Johnson Brothers and is arranged by the singing group called Rizal. This song continues to be a symbol of hope and unity in the African-American community. Our students chose this arrangement and would love to share it with you as it is one of our all-time favorites. Oh, 
struggle. But you gotta hold on. Watch